nail polish collection video for you guys. I'll start off by just showing you my collection. I keep most of my drugstore polishes in this container, um, just kind of like my random brands. And then I keep most of my OPI and LA Flare in this box. And those are the two brands I have the most of. So I'll get started with what I'm loving at the moment. And right now I'm wearing this polish, which is my new favorite. It's called Rose Bowl. It's by American Apparel. It's part of their new polish line. They have some great colors. Um, I bought three, these three. And they're all kind of dusty and muted, which is what I'm really liking with polish right now. I'm going away from the darks and the brights, and this is the kind of colors that I'm loving. So I'm wearing it right now. I love it. It's very similar to this polish by Rimmel, which is called Kickstart, which is my favorite. And this is discontinued and it's getting really old and gross, so I'm trying to find dupes for this. And I found this OPI Japanese Rose Garden that's very similar the other day. It's a bit more purple. And then this one is also very similar, but it's a bit lighter pink. So I have kind of, you know, the purpley side and the pink side of this. Kind of these two together equal this, but still I'm happy with um, both colors. They're both beautiful. The other colors that I got from American Apparel are um, Dynasty, which is this muted lilac. Um, it's very similar to a couple of my other favorite polishes, Gosh's Wild Lilac, um, OPI's A Great Fit, and this NYC color that I wear a lot. This one's just a little bit more gray, it's a little bit um, dustier than these, but I love this kind of lilac-y color. The other polish I got from American Apparel was their office color, which is their jade kind of Chanel green. Um, it's really beautiful. It's very similar to Essie's Mint Candy Apple. Essie's is a bit lighter. Um, I like them a lot, both of them. The only problem I find with Essie polishes is that the brush is a little small. So I find when I do my own nails, it gets a bit streaky because I'm not very good at them doing them. So um, that's the only negative with Essie, but I love both of these. So those are the three colors I'm really into at the moment. I also love like a dusty light pink. LA Flare does this version, which is a bit sheer. And then OPI does Mod About You, which is one of my favorite colors, um, but this is totally opaque. This is amazing when you have a tan, and I've shown it in videos before. Um, and fortunately for the LA Flare colors, I'm not going to have any names for you, just because there isn't any on these labels. I don't know why. I know that they do all have names, but um, where I buy them at Urban Outfitters, they don't have names on them, so sorry about that. Um, another favorite kind of color tone for me is dark green. These two are by LA Flare. This is just like an opaque, and this is a sheer, uh, shimmery dark green. I sometimes will do one coat of this and then one coat of this on top if I want to make this one sparkly. I also have um, Zoya's Envy, which is an even darker, deeper green. That's uh, great as well. I love Zoya polishes. Um, I only have a couple. I have uh, this new one called JC, which is a purpley, magenta kind of tone, and it's got some shimmer. OPI, I'm not really a waitress. This is my favorite red. Uh, it's very shimmery. Um, it's really beautiful. It does stain your nails. I think this is the worst one out of all my polishes for nail staining, um, but you just use a base coat with that, and you shouldn't really have too much of a problem. But I do really love this color, and I love the name. Um, okay, some of my others that I like. In the summer, I really like really bright, bright colors. So, this is my favorite LA Flare. It's like a neon pink. I have this one called Pink Flamingo by OPI that's quite bright as well. Um, there's another pink. This one actually has a name. It's called Blazon. That's great. Um, and Hyper is the neon color from LA Flare. I have two bottles of that as I wear it a lot. This bright yellow is amazing too. It's called Glowing. It's very sheer. It looks amazing on. Um, so those are all great colors. I have a couple Rimmels that are bright like that as well. Tequila Sunrise and Modern Art. These are great. This beautiful peachy tone. Just very pretty. This is going to be a great color going into spring. I know that this is very popular and also kind of a peachy grayish brown. Chanel has a new color called Particular, I think it's pronounced. And um, it's like a peachy version of Donald Jacques, which I have right 
here and Metro Chic. It's like basically taking these smoky brownie gray purples and adding a bit of peach and that's like the hot new color for spring so I'm definitely going to be wearing these and maybe even trying to mix these see how that works. Mostly I wear either dark colors that are an actual color, not a black. So like the dark greens that I showed you, I have a dark burgundy and a dark brown from LA Flair that I like. I have some dark blues from LA Flair, just like a periwinkle blue. Or I'll wear dusty muted colors like the American Apparels um, and the Dono Jacques and the Metro Chics. Or I'll wear really bright, crazy, fluorescent, glowy colors like the pinks and yellows I showed you. Or I'll wear kind of more unusual, like these bright greens and like the OPI mod about you, really different kind of color. That's what I'm into. I'm not into real neutrals or real basic colors. I have one pink, like true pink. It's this one called Princess Pink by Rimmel, but I honestly never wear this. I love Gosh's um, nail polishes. They're really inexpensive and they're great quality. And this one's called Ocean. This is really beautiful, very shimmery. I guess for the best drugstore, I would definitely say my favorites are Rimmel's. I have a lot of these colors and I've worn them for a really long time. Uh, my favorite was called Torrid, which I'm not sure if they make anymore, but um, Fantasy is kind of similar to it. I love OPI because I have a nice big brush. I love Sephora for OPI. And I love LA Flare just because they have the best color range. Really interesting, fun colors, even though the polishes tend to separate um, pretty quickly and they're not the always the best quality when it comes to uh, color saturation. They're really inexpensive and um, they have the best colors. And sometimes you'll find ones that are absolutely fantastic for color coverage and for holding up. So they're hit and miss, but majority of them are great. So I really love this brand. I guess my big trend would be, again, looking for muted colors, looking for beigey grays, and have fun with your polish because it's like an extension of you. If you are young or if you work in a type of job where they allow you to wear fun nail polish, why not? It's like another accessory and it can really um, draw attention to your accessories or your skin tone, just make you look a little more special. So yeah, I love nail polish. Um, I guess the last thing I'm going to leave you with is my favorite base and top coats because you really do need a good foundation. I like Nail Tech too. It's great for peeling nails. I have really damaged nails because I bite my nails. It's a really bad habit, but um, one that I've had most of my life. So um, I use this, especially in the winter. They get really dry. It does make your nail polish peel easier, so I wouldn't recommend it if you want a long-lasting nail application but it's great if you change your nail polishes often. Um, otherwise, any good base coat will do, especially if you're using dark colors because they may stain. Um, my favorite top coat, my absolute must buy, is the Seche Beat. It makes your nail polish dry incredibly fast, even faster than these nail drops that you can get. And it makes your nails really hard and very shiny, so it looks like a professional manicure. This is 100% the most important thing you need in your nail arsenal. So definitely go get this. I would also love to try the new Minx system, which is where they put a gel on your nails and you can get really fun patterns like leopard print. Um, it costs like $40, but I believe it lasts for about a month. So I would love to get that. So when I grow my nails out a little bit, I'm gonna look into maybe getting that done. Any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys soon, bye.